looking looky loo. Uh, she looking real looky loo. In the club when she looking at you. Looking at Today's video is going to be all about how to make a music video on any budget by yourself. And I know what you might be saying. I don't need to know how to do this, but hear me out. Go get it. Do nice things you was looking to prove. A simple do big things swing low when you move. Ay. <laughs> Tell me what do you do? Can you walk, chop it up, make it do what it do? Ay. Ay. On the flow with a groove to legendary futures. It's five o'clock somewhere. I merely want to tell people how to be self-sufficient, how to mix their music, how to master their music, how to record their music, how to engineer their music. All these things I think are so important because it means you don't have to rely on outer sources just to get something done. Not saying that you shouldn't use those outer sources. However, it's good to be self-sufficient because when you don't have access to those things or those people, you can at least get it done to an extent by yourself. Case in point, Wick and Deed. Some like the wick and do the dig, the candle lit, do as I please. I just want to be out by Every single aspect of that video was created by me. The songwriting, the beat, the recording, the music videos, the cinematography, everything from start to finish. I want to teach you guys how to do the same thing. They're way too important these days. So let's get into it. We climb the ladder, reach up. We go higher. For every shoot that I ever do, there are three main pieces of gear that I always use, and that's my Z Cam E2, my GH5 with the Atomos Ninja 5, and the Young UO YN360 lights. The great thing about these cameras is that there are external monitoring options, whether that's hardwired into the camera or something wireless like to your phone or your iPad Pro, which I use for both of these cameras. And for all the videos that I film, I always use these Young UO YN360 lights for color and the Godox SL60W with a big fat grid so we can get a nice key light on all of our shots. Now, also in my case, it was a bonus that I have these nano leaf lights set up because I can also use that to kind of flood my studio space here with some ambient lighting if I wanted it to. And now we have a red light and I can adjust the brightness up and down as you can see on the screen there's different things that you can use within your space to make a music video it doesn't have to be shot in some crazy location that you pay you know hourly for although that does have its perks so wick indeed was shot right here against this wall in this very studio with the exact setup that i just showed you actually i didn't even use two cameras i only used one single camera which was my cinema camera the z cam e2 um, however, if you've got a phone, if you've got a Canon, I'm shooting this on an R6, which would work perfectly if you have a GH5, it can look really good. And I'm going to show you. Do, ay, ay, on the flow with a groove to legendary future sex tunes making you move. So when you're shooting a music video by yourself, you want to make sure that you have enough angles, enough different takes to be able to keep the visual interesting when people are watching your music video and it's not doing the same shots over and over or the shots are going on for too long. And so in my case for Wick Indeed, I did I think about three different shots or four. Uh, a nice static colored white wall or gray wall or black wall, one that you can project a light onto is very, very beneficial to have with these Young Wool uh, YN360 lights because the most famous, <laughs> I will say, shot of wick indeed was the one where the light was a little bit to uh the left hand side of me it was so much of a simple setup the z cam was framed up on my face zoom in a little bit had my shades on now um you'll see it's just literally one colored light here and then our godox light here for a, a main key light that way everything looks nice and crisp on the camera and we do have a little bit of things to play around with. Now, I would turn this light off, obviously, the green one back there. But you can see how effective it was in the music video. I'll show you an example here. If you desire your love, I got the biggest plug for you. Take it on the rug, design the love, work on you. We like to push a shelf, the diamond sub switch on the Turn the lights off and mouth off the sun coming. Now, what makes this setup so good, so we have our Z cam here with the wireless uh, antenna here that's going to project an image to my iPad over there. That's what I use to monitor myself with this camera. As I'm recording, sit in this chair and I was looking directly at myself. If you can monitor yourself, that's what is going to allow you to shoot yourself. <laughs> That's 
way number one. That's if you have no budget, you already have a camera, you have a phone, whatever it may be. But way number two is if you have a little bit more of a budget and you want to shoot in an actual studio that has other types of props and settings in terms of scenery that you can use. That's where studios like FD Studios comes into play. Now, one of the things that I hate most about shooting bigger music video projects for clients or even myself is there's a need to prepare more. You have to have more equipment. You have to have a bigger team with you if there's a lot of people that are gonna be on the shoot. Prepare in advance. And advanced preparation also means coming with the big guns, if I say so myself. So this fake Pelican Manfrotto ripoff bag <laughs> is what I use to transport all of my gear. It does the job. It works. Um, it's very small, so depending how much equipment you have, you might want to get something that's bigger, but I can fit everything nearly that I have in this case right here. So just for context, this is where my Zcam E2 goes. This is where the Atomos Ninja 5 visual monitor goes. And then my GH5 comes in on the other side next to that as well with whatever lens it has attached in this section here. And then my Sigma 18 and 35 lens goes here. Luckily, this thing allows us to morph the case into whatever we need for whatever shoots we need. And that way you don't have to keep buying new cases to store stuff in different places. So let's go ahead and take a look into a professional video shoot with some industry artists um, for two music videos that I recently shot and edited that are out now. I'll link those in the description as well, but here is the behind the scenes footage of that stuff to show you guys kind of how to shoot a music video on location. Okay, so today is kind of a special day. It's my first music video shoot in nearly a year, maybe six months. If any of you guys are planning on shooting music videos, then this video will help you um, with places to book, equipment to use, how to set up all that stuff. So I gotta go. BTS, we are uh, setting up right now for the, yeah, I am a man, be slate. Just getting everything set up. So. Uh, I'm already sweating, and we haven't even started shooting yet, bruh. It's kind of useful to have two cameras. Because one can be for your gimbal shots and one for your handhelds. I have three in this case because one's for BTS. Basically at this stage, we're getting the lighting set up right for a solo shot, I think. It's a simple setup. Basically, when you shoot stuff like this, you have time limits when you run out these studios. So every single moment has to be used to, you know, like I'm eating and I'm <laughs> setting up lights right now. The whole idea, I think, of this particular video or song is to be like a real personal, intimate type setting. I think it does play into that visual we're going for just to like have, it's like the singer alone in a studio kind of thing. Anytime you shoot music videos, your look has to somewhat, at least somewhat match the, uh, the vibe of the song or the feel of the song. You don't want to have a turn up song and it's like a simple stool, like boys to men's, <laughs> like it's not going to work. Just make sure you know before you book a place, they have all the stuff you're looking for to achieve that look. Also, the cool thing about these studios is like, most of them have multiple locations in a room that you book. So this is like the big open for those kind of shots, whatever you want to set up. And then there's this Star Trek looking <laughs> thing. So you can get two different shots. It looks like you shot it in two different places. All right, so as far as tips for like what to shoot with, like if your crew is a little bit more stripped down, basically you, you don't have many people, I would recommend shooting with something that has a really good autofocus. Cause like a lot of these cinema cameras, they either don't have autofocus or it's like kind of bad. Like the one I have, we got the GH5 on the gimbal. These are for my moving shots. Um, that's already set up and everything's ready to go, balanced. And we got the Z cam. This is the cinema rig. 
with the Ninja 5. This autofocus is not great um, on either of these cameras, but shooting yourself or you have a videographer who's not too experienced or you want to want to make it like a real simple shoot something like any of the recent Canon cameras like the R5 R6 have great autofocus which comes in useful especially for gimbal shots you don't have to like mess around with the focus ring you don't have to buy a follow focus as long as you just tap to focus on your subject it's cool yeah that's what I'm working with today set up here this uh, standing minimal shot and I already sweat out my stuff taking a brief break in between shots on getting a second shot for a separate video we have this spaceship looking setup thing is so bright as you can see we're gonna get this next and then we got the drum set up here for this song black lives matter one tidbit keep your cameras on in between takes just make sure you have a lot of batteries gotta shoot So sweaty. I'm so tired. All right, second shirt sweating through. Pretty fun. 
Not really. Location. Number two. Into the Black Lives Matter. The crew did it. Martini shot.